Entertainment Tonight. You know the theme song. Hello, everybody. I'm Mary Hart. And I'm Mark Steinis. You know the hosts. And after more than two decades on the air, Entertainment Tonight remains the most watched entertainment news program in the world. Good to see you. It's great to have you here. So what sets ET apart from all the rest? You hear the most watched entertainment news program in the world. Why is that? You know, I think because we still do it better. We have people who are so experienced. I mean, yes, I've been here for 25 years, but we also have producers and directors right. in the field who know everybody in the business, who are always in contact behind the scenes. And I think there's a bond. Plus, being the first ones to do entertainment news on a nightly basis, I really think the public, our viewers watch us because they know we're gonna give them the straight story, right. and I think that has made a difference. So let me ask you, 1982, you first joined Entertainment Tonight. Did you think in 2007... Now, wait a minute. Was that before the Civil War or just <laughs> after? <laughs> and it's that energy that has kept host Mary Hart loving her job. Did you think we'd be here in 2007 saying, wow, this thing is still successful? Never. Marco, when I joined the show, it was nine months into its first year. And at that time, it was a real struggle. None of us dreamed that we would be in our same jobs for all of these years, and we're incredibly fortunate. Still rocking it. Yeah. He's still trying to rock it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> for the past 27 years, Entertainment Tonight has been delivering celebrity news. And judging by the number of stations across the country that carry the syndicated program, there's no signs of ET slowing down anytime soon. Cheryl, only we have the Pam Anderson right, wedding photos. How, after all these years, upbeat, bubbly, your smile, you haven't changed. How have you done that? Because I go into a tirade in the makeup room every morning, and then I come out here and I put on the smile. <laughs> <laughs> also, no, you know okay. what? I like coming to work. After interviewing just about everyone in the business, Mary says trust is the key to the show's success. Well, it is always so nice when the stars come up and say, I have watched you practically since day one, and there's a comfort level there that's really nice. It's a bond, and whether I know them personally or not, I think it makes the celebrities uh, open up more readily. And you could tell. I think, like, just in, for instance, when you talk to George Clooney, there's a flirtation there, but it's like a trusted flirtation. Well, George flirts with everybody. <laughs> You're just one of the girls. <laughs> he is so great. No, George handles press so well. That's what's interesting, to watch how some stars never do get all that comfortable with press mm -hmm. and really try to play coy all the time, or the stars who just say, I'm, I'm going to roll with it. I know this is an important part of the business. While you're watching Entertainment Tonight, it may seem like these stories just fall into their laps, but that's certainly not the case. These stories start right here in the ET Newsroom. So, so we can take anything off her website? When is the media just in their business too much. Do you think there's a point when that happens? There are, a, you know, there are more tabloid shows on the air and keeping an eye on the stars is a little more rabid than it ever has been. Sometimes that makes me uncomfortable. I look yeah. at Britney and I see the cameras constantly around her. And there's a side of me that feels very sorry for that, you know, young performer who we all are hoping will get back on track. Music here. And coming up on Entertainment Tonight, Ricky Lake's 40 pound weight loss. Three, two, one. And it's amazing just what, meeting your crew. You can tell you guys are a team. You work together. It's all about the oh, team. Oh, these guys? Yeah, these guys. We hate each other. <laughs> You're good actors. Never. Then. Are you kidding? We, yeah. we know far more about each other on, on this uh, team <laughs> than we should. I have to ask you the tough question here. Who's a bigger diva? Mariah Carey, J-Lo, or Mark Steinis? You know, that, that is uh, hands down, those women are just horrible. <laughs> you thought for sure I was going to say Steinus. Well, he is such a diva. He's not even in town now, you know. He, he knew we were going to talk about him, and he said, ha, I'm out of here. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I was working with Mark, though. You guys have such a cool chemistry. He's terrific. And for Mary, who calls Los Angeles home, the Valley has remained one of her favorite getaways for quite a long time. It's kind of a funny thing, but years ago, when my husband and I got married almost 20 years ago, we spent three three nights in Palm Springs. Well, look how Palm Springs and Palm Desert have changed, and India, all of the growth. And I went back, this is now in 1999. We took up golf. Good. That's a main reason, yeah. but I started out at PGA West, took a few golf lessons, fell in love with the sport, and suddenly went, you know, Bert, I 
love the feel of the air here. I think this is very soothing. It's really nice. Then we um, discovered Bighorn, the country club we belong Beautiful. to. We love it. Mary Hart has host of the Palm Springs International Film Festival for the past four years. And next year, she'll take over the hosting duties once again. I'm really looking forward to it. I've loved watching it grow through the years. They've done a sensational job, and I've seen Hollywood get excited about the film festival more and more every year. Whether in Palm Springs or Hollywood, over two decades on the air and still going strong. Now tomorrow on ET, what's next? You can bet millions will be watching to find out. In Hollywood, Marco Gonzalez, KMIR 6 News.